Pat said to me, just higgledy piggledy off the cuff the other day, we were on the air, and he said, you know, I think Jill Biden is the worst first lady of my lifetime. She may be the worst ever. And Mm -hmm. I did have to say two words to him, Hillary Clinton, (laughs) um, but he still stood Mm -hmm. by Jill Biden being the worst. Mm -hmm. So... Mm-hmm. I would like to have a little debate. I've done my homework. I'm, I'm assuming you've done your homework on Jill Biden. Oh, extensive. On what makes her the... Extensive <laughs> homework. On this, this, really, this really got me bad. I, I mean, hours, <clears throat> hours just okay. brooding on this. How can Pat possibly think that? So who do you, you want me to start or you, you go start? Ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Ready to hear it. Okay, so... You should start I mean, with this the death list. This is just my case. That, yeah, <laughs> I've got it. This is just my case that she is the ultimate hot sauce carrying, Sololinsky loving, warmongering, deplorable super predator that we've ever had <laughs> as a first lady. Okay. Uh, first of all, all of the... All of the uh, different gates that they went through. Russia Gate, Whitewater Gate, Pizza Gate, Pickle Gate, Trooper Gate, File Gate, Email Gate, China Gate, Pardon Gate, Hair Gate, Benghazi Gate, Mag- uh, Monica Gate, and Travel Gate. Okay, so well, yeah, but a she's lot got of that a few Bill. scandals. A lot of that was Bill. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Let's 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 go here. Let's look at her. her let, let's look at a little bit of her past. A 27-year-old staff attorney Mm -hmm. for the House Judiciary Committee. She worked under Jerry Zeifman, chief counsel Mm -hmm. of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, This is during the Nixon impeachment. He didn't really like her. Now, he didn't fire her, but he said, since, I would have fired her if I had the power because, quote, she was a liar. She was unethical. She was a dishonest lawyer. She conspired to violate the Constitution, the rules of the House, the rules of the committee, and the rules of confidentiality. Okay. No that's, argument that's for not, me. Yes. Uh, but I, mean, I believe but that. Then you got to go. All right. Throw in, a, you know, go uh-huh. ahead. Throw in, make me feel better. Throw in a Jill Biden fact. Uh, Which is so horrible. Uh, wait, come on. I mean, she's uh, she's guilty of elder abuse, husband abuse. She's pushing this guy forward on the United States of America, who she knows is an incompetent fool who is losing his mind. And she doesn't care because she wants to be near the, the throne of power. Uh, I mean, she is one of the most hideous people I think we've ever seen in or around the office of the presidency. Uh, the Jake Tapper interview, do you remember when, he, know. when he said... H- hang uh, on, hang on just a second. I, all right. I'd like to get another opinion. Let me just, because uh, I brought a witness in. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just ask uh, Vince Foster. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, well, Seth Rich, <laughs> come on up. Come on. Oh, no, he can't. <laughs> All right, go ahead. What were you saying, Pat? All right, so you are dig- you are digging into the death list, so that that's good news. But no, you can you can just treat those as a joke. Just treat those as a joke. I got a lot. Uh, remember the Jake Tapper interview when Tapper was trying to ask her uh, about the gaffes, about the problems uh, from from Joe Biden, how. They were piling up. They were getting much more serious than they used to be. And she just simply says, don't even go there. Don't even go there, Jake. And it immediately shuts him down. It, it just shows that she is fully aware. I mean, she's aware like nobody else is aware of the problems that that man is having. And she continues to push him forward onto uh, uh, the This public stage that he's not prepared for, that he's not fit to do, and uh, and just setting us up for one of the worst disasters in American history. Yeah. Okay. All right. Vast right wing conspiracy. All right. Uh, She she got together with George Soros and David Brock and founded Media Matters. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, John Podesta, who worked for her, that John Podesta is a spawn of Hillary. Uh, provided uh, office space for Media Matters as they mm-hmm. started Center for American mm-hmm. Progress, also connected to Hillary and George Soros. 
Uh, then let's see. She, oh, I love this. She approved a purchase agreement for a Russian owned company that was uh, seeking to purchase Canadian uranium mining company mm-hmm. with mineral rights in the United States. It was later revealed that the Clinton Foundation had received $2.35 million worth of donations linked to the Russian company that it didn't disclose. The Canadian company involved was founded by a Clinton Foundation board member and a $100 million donor. That because she had so many good friends that cared so much about charity, she negotiated the transfer of 20% of all uranium from the United States to Russia. She was also on the Committee of Foreign Investment in the United States when it unanimously approved the Uranium One deal. Uh, By the way, The Hill said they had substantial evidence that Russian nuclear industry officials were engaged in bribery, kickbacks, extortion, and money laundering to expand Russia's nuclear footprint in the U.S. as early as 2009. While we're here on the Clinton Foundation, we should remember that the foreign investors uh, in that one deal donated $145 million to the Clinton Foundation. Bill Clinton received half a million dollars for a speech in Moscow from the investment bank that was uh, in, in that deal. Um, and, uh, by the way, she was also uh, put in charge of hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars for uh, Haiti's recovery recovery and reconstruction. And if you remember, uh, her and Bill Clinton were just working so hard in Haiti that they got less than 9% of all of the foreign cash to ac- actually to uh, the uh, Haitians and the government. So hmm. that's a pretty good... Did I mention? Did I mention uh, her? Did I mention? No, did I ahead. mention the Jill? The Jill Biden hispandering? So say it with me. See, si, say, Padre. The future is ours. Oh Thank you. Okay, tell me that. Oh I, t- tell me that doesn't trump everything you just said. Uh, oh, no, if I had, if I would have thought of it, I would have had the audio of Hillary saying, "And I'm sick and tired of it." <laughs> You remember that? I'm sick and tired of people who say that if you debate and you disagree with this administration, somehow Mm. you're not patriotic. And we should stand up and say we are Americans and we have a right to debate and disagree with any administration. (laughs) Listen to how soothing that is. Listen to that soothing voice. (laughs) I'd rather hear Jill Biden talk about breakfast tacos all day long. You're about to. You're about to. There's another example of her (laughs) hispandering. Raul helped build this organization with the understanding that the diversity of this community, as distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the Blossoms of Miami, and as unique as Mm -hmm. the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio, Oh, oh, how charming. Oh, what a charming is, phony she yeah. is. Isn't she? Oh, yeah. The worst. How about the phrase, we came, we saw, he died? Oh. How about that one? How about that one? Yeah. Uh, oh, about about Gaddafi, that. who, by the way, she s- had secret meetings with uh, the Muslim Brotherhood leadership uh, and the Egyptian uh, president, Mohammed Morsi. Um, they. They, uh, m- she made sure that they had three hundred and sixty million dollars in funding to help Egyptian businesses. Wink, wink, nod, nod. When the when Benghazi happened, you know, remember four Americans died, two Navy SEALs, two diplomats, uh, and uh, and she, you know, she had nothing to do with it. Of course, uh, she said, mm. of course, it was because of the stupid film that came out, which had nothing to do oh, with yeah. it. It happened on September eleventh. And then, after that, she doubled down on the Arab Spring. She said it was a strategic necessity and pretty much paved the road for ISIS. But I mean, but I mean, Jill Biden does. Yeah, she does. She, she, uh, yeah, she descends below all of that. Remember the dandelion incident? Do you remember (laughs) she's walking along the field toward the, uh, the Marine One? She's walking uh, in with Joe Biden in the field. Joe bends over and sweetly and romantically 
picks a gone to seed dandelion, not even one that was blossomed uh, and yellow. It, it had gone to seed already and hands it to his loved one, Jill. Jill takes a few steps, gets behind the Marine who is standing there to salute the first couple and throws it on the ground. <laughs> Showing that it's meaningless to her. That romantic gesture from her feeble, mm. aged husband was meaningless mm-hmm. to her. Mm-hmm. Pathetic. Do I need to remind you that Hillary Clinton was the one behind Fusion GPS and the Steele dossier? Do yes, I need to just remind, remind you that you just that one beats Jill, <laughs> Jill Biden? Just just <laughs> that one thing. By the way, when I doing my research, and this was so re- this was so satisfying to see. She was so angry. Uh, she was staying at the Pen- Peninsula Hotel in Manhattan, and when she realized she lost, she was so angry. She had to quote suppress the anger that touched every nerve in my body. Uh, she didn't draft a concession speech. She never did it, um, and she had to find another way to use the hundreds of thousands of dollars of fireworks donated by her charitable foundation. So she's got like half a million dollars of fireworks from Jeez. her charity for this. She, uh, she also had, and I love this. Oh, I want this documented. I, I, I got to see pictures of this. She had a $500,000 special effect glass ceiling that she was going to break through when she walked out on stage uh, when she won. And they were like, we just spent half a million dollars on this breakaway <laughs> glass ceiling. What do we... Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, I, I may okay. have, when I made the claim, I may have been suffering yeah. from a bit of recency <laughs> bias. <laughs> yes. It is yes. possible. I think you might. I think you might. I think you might. But I agree with you. She's not the worst first lady we've ever had, but she is a despicable human she being. She is. She's absolutely because despicable. I, I agree with you. I think this is elderly abuse, mm-hmm. uh, spousal abuse. But that's, and I what think it's that's doing, the way the... What, what it's doing for the nation. She knowingly pushed him forward in this. And you know she was behind him the whole time saying, yeah, you got to do this. You have to do this. And now we're we're stuck with it. We're stuck with it. But I don't think she was the driver of it. I think everybody in the Republic or in the Democratic Party was pushing him. Yeah, it's just I mean, a- he is the perfect he's the perfect guy to finish the fundamental transformation of America. Yeah. Because you have all these scandals, you have his son, you have his age. So there's a million ways mm-hmm. to turn on him and say, that guy was crazy after everything has been done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then they can separate yeah. that was Joe Biden, that was not us. Because he just did all of it for them, and they could flush him down the toilet and wipe their hands clean. And I think that's what they're going to do. Yeah. Well, they Maybe have to. Maybe it's just me. They have to. Yeah. Because uh, he's out of it.